water rings. Just put a damn cloth over them and then iron them out. Check this out. Boom, gone. Stove top. So sprinkle some baking soda. Add some fresh lemon juice and watch it sizzle. Scrub and wipe it clean. Screens. Just dip a tea bag in water, rub it on the screen, and then wipe it off with a coffee filter. Descaling shower heads. Just pour some vinegar in a Ziploc bag, slide it around the shower head, and let it soak for an hour. You won't believe how much gunk will come out. Works on sink faucets too. Hard water stains on chrome surfaces. Soak a paper towel in vinegar, place it over the surface, let it sit for a little bit, and boom, brand new. Shower glass doors. Fill up a spray bottle with vinegar. Spray the glass, let it sit for 10 minutes. Throw on some baking soda. Put some salt on a half a lemon like this. Scrub the glass and then wipe it off. Crystal clear. Oven racks. In a bowl, make a paste with baking soda, lemon juice, and vinegar. Fry it on a rack, let it sit for an hour, and everything comes right off. Pots and pans. Just add a lemon, baking soda, and vinegar. Bring it to boil, and everything should come right off. Wooden cutting board stains. Add salt and scrub it with a half a lemon. Plastic cutting boards, baking soda, vinegar, and scrub with a lemon. When you measure out honey, syrup, any other sticky stuff, don't do this. Spray with cooking spray first, and everything comes right off. Same thing when you grate cheese. The cheese doesn't get stuck in the grater. Descaling a kettle, just add vinegar, bring it to boil, let it sit for one hour, and boom, brand new. Oven grease, mix baking soda and vinegar until you have a paste. Use a sponge to apply this mixture on the grease. Add one cup of vinegar in the bowl. Hi, Bella. Put it inside the oven, put the oven on low heat for one hour, and goodbye to the grease. For clock drains, just sprinkle some baking soda, add vinegar, let it sit for five minutes, then add hot water. Boom! Add vinegar in a bowl, have a lemon, microwave it for one minute, open it up and wipe it clean. When you're done squeezing the juice out of lemons, don't throw out the peels. Instead, what you want to do is slice them up. By the way, if your cutting board keeps sliding around like this, all you got to do is wet a paper towel, place it underneath it, and boom, it's not going anywhere. The next thing you want to do is grab a spray bottle and put the slices in there. Add a half a cup of white vinegar, a teaspoon of salt, a tiny bit of dish soap, and fill the rest up with some water. Close it, give it a good shake. What you have right now is a homemade, chemical-free, citrusy disinfectant. Use it to clean anything in your house and leave your house smelling like lemon. So don't buy those cleaners at the store that contain toxic chemicals. Just do this instead. It's magic. When you're done sweeping the floor, spray the pile with some water. Wipe with a paper towel and nothing gets left behind. To get your dishwasher nice and clean, just add one cup of vinegar inside the machine. Run a normal cycle and it'll be fresh and clean. Keep peeled clothes. Just grab a razor and shave it away. Quick and easy. Grapefruit and salt can get rid of stains in your bathroom. Sink, bathtub, toilet, anywhere. Woo! Refresh white towels. Just add a half a cup of baking soda to the detergent spot and a half a cup of vinegar into the fabric soft to the spot. Run a full cycle and done. Brand new and white. When you're done using a panini maker, unplug it. Add some vinegar or lemon juice. Put a wet paper towel on top. Press it down for a minute. Grab another paper towel and wipe it clean. These stains or any kind of stains on your carpet. Add some foamy shaving cream and wipe it off. If you got a stained cutting board, don't throw it out. Just sprinkle some baking soda on it, a little bit of salt, and some fresh lime juice. And then use the lime to scrub it. Check this out. Rinse it off. Boom! Brand new! Works like magic! You got some shaving cream at home? Here's what you could do besides shave with it. Remove stains. Make anything stainless steel shine. Boom! Look at that. You got paint in your hands? No problem. It'll work tremendous. Just do this. Comes right off. Make your jewelry sparkle. Bam! Look at that. Stop your mirrors from fogging up. Works on glasses too. Try it. Did you know if you mix baking soda with some fresh lemon juice, add some white vinegar, a little bit of dish soap, and water, give it a good shake. You can remove any stains from your clothes. Just add the mixture on the stain, grab an old toothbrush, and brush away the stain. It's safe, natural, no toxic chemicals, and it works like magic. Everyday life a little bit easier, here's what you do. 
Carpet stains. <laughs> Just sprinkle some salt on it, baking soda, a little bit of water, rub it in, and watch the magic happen. Streak free mirrors. Just dip a tea bag in some water, and then use it to clean your mirrors. Check this out. Crystal clear. If you want to make anything stainless steel shine, just sprinkle some baking soda on a half a lime like this. And check this out. Beautiful. Wrinkly shirt. Throw it in a dryer. One ice cube for one minute. Wrinkles gone. <laughs> if your shoes smell, just put a tea bag in each. Overnight, the odor will be gone. If you put a few drops of nail polish remover on a cotton pad, it can bring out the whites in your shoes. Unshrink clothes. Hot water in a bucket. Add about a half a cup of the conditioner you use for your hair. Mix it up, let your clothes soak in there for 30 minutes. Take it out, remove the excess water. Let it dry. Boom, I can fit it now. Buy your glasses, we wear masks. Wipe them with shaving cream and done. Works in the bathroom too. Did you know? Wait, Bella. What? What are you doing? Don't do that. Instead, what you want to do? Put some baking soda in a cup. Then put your makeup brush in it. Coat it in the baking soda. Then add some vinegar. And watch it sizzle the bacteria away. Let it soak in there for about five minutes. Then grab a half a lemon and rub the brush against the lemon like this. Like you're painting on a lemon. Then give it a quick rinse. Wrap it in a piece of paper towel. Grab a coat hanger. Grab the brush. Grab a hair tie. Wrap it around the brush on the coat hanger. Then hang it up somewhere. And let it dry. Bella, here you go. Pick one. Boom. Brand new, clean. You don't need to buy those makeup brush cleaners that contain toxic chemicals. Zing. Are you going to be doing this from now on? Yeah, sure. You will. When you're done squeezing the juice out of limes, and you're left with those peels, you probably throw them out. You don't throw them out. Instead, what you want to do is slice them up. Put them in a spray bottle. Add a half a cup of white vinegar. A teaspoon of salt. A little bit of dish soap. And fill up the rest with water. Shake it up. And boom, homemade, chemical-free, citrusy cleaning spray. This thing works amazing. It leaves your house smelling like limes. So don't throw out your peels. And don't buy those sprays that contain toxic chemicals. Just make your own. When you're done eating bananas, don't throw out the peels. Here are six things you can do with them. Nourish the skin in your face by rubbing it with the inside of the banana peel. Leave it out for 50 minutes, then wash it off. This will exfoliate your skin, reduce wrinkles, and dark circles. Boil them in a pile of water for 10 minutes. Then strain the water out. And enjoy yourself some banana tea. Drink this an hour before bed and you'll sleep deeper and better than ever. It helps with bloating too. You can also fertilize your plants with it. The extra nutrients will make your plants grow faster and stronger. Just make sure the water's cooled off. You can also use it to polish your leather shoes. Just look at that shine. If you have house plants, you can use the peel to dust off the leaves and get them to shine too. And finally, use it to nourish your hair, boost the growth and prevent gray hairs. Just blend the peel with one egg. Apply it on your hair and scalp, leave it on for 15 minutes, and then rinse it off. So don't throw out banana peels and all the benefits. 